This clip is going to look at the use of the shortcut button to open up the Atlas definitions for reporting which your cursor is located. The benefit of this is that many Atlas reports will combine different reporting techniques. In the report that we've got on the screen at the moment, the customer aging report, we have two main Atlas reports or Atlas reporting techniques which are being used. The first is a structured summary list which is providing the summarised detail or open balance for each customer. We then have a series of balance formulae which are reporting the various open balances for different periods for each of these customers. So with it, within this report we have two different sets of completely different reporting types and different sets of definitions. In order to open up the definitions for any specific cell, all you have to do is just place your cursor in that cell, use the little arrow next to the report options which opens up the definitions for this report, and here we can see that this cell has been based on the customer transactions table, filters which are created in Excel, and the output. If we move across, we can see firstly how the definitions change accordingly. But as we then move into the structured summary report, you will see how automatically the definitions reflect the definitions of the summary report. And when we look at the definitions for the summary report, we can identify the fields from the main table, but we can also see very quickly that this, is, this table or this report consists of several managed columns. And it's actually in these managed columns where we can see that the balance formulae have been added. So if you are opening up a, a report which has been created by somebody else, or a report which you have not looked at for some time, generally as best practice we would recommend this in, in order to understand how the table was built. Generally place your, your cursor towards the left of the report. Open up the definitions via the shortcut button, the report options button. You can view the output and importantly you can actually then see and understand the use of managed columns and of the main structured report. As we can see here we've got six different managed columns so we can now see quite quickly and directly each of these managed columns where we can identify that the balance formula has been added. This is all for use of the shortcut button to return the values for any cell in which your cursor is located.